ahead, you say that in our own small ways, we have solutions, but we need to, you know, harmonize them or bring them together. How do we fix this problem? Let's look for solutions right now. What will you profess? Thank you very much. So I suggested the actionable, sustainable solutions. And the first step to that is, first of all, or the first step is that we bring all stakeholders together, the government, minerals commission, forestry commission, researchers, and of course, the people who are involved in Galamse. And I dare to say that we have to also add the large mining companies and the other medium-scale licensed mining companies. Why am I saying this? Because they have practiced mining at a larger scale and are able to so, um, take care of our environment. And so once we bring all these people together, the researchers will communicate what we have. I have used iron oxide to remove lead and arsenic from Galamse polluted water, and it was highly efficient. 97 to 99 percent efficiency. I worked on this with John Coomson, who was uh, one of my immediate past um, master students. And so, and I also worked on something like this during my PhD. And so, we are able to do it. Apart from that, UMAT has also done some um, research on remediating the effects of Galamse. And so, and I know that they came up with very good results. What we need now is to bring all of these, um, you know, results together and implement them. It is not just research and development. It is research, development, and deployment. And so we bring all these stakeholders together. I bring the materials I have been able to um, produce and I have ascertained. And then now we go on to fabricate, we go on to the field, and then get it deployed. But we have to understand that people are gaining livelihood from Galamse. And so we need to dialogue with them. Let them understand the effects, the diverse effects of what they are doing. Educate them. When you go to large mining companies, they are training, training, training. What stops us from training these people? Giving them a concession to maintain their livelihood so that we resolve the whole menace. We are able to do it because... We have not just been trained to come and sit here and relax. We've been trained to serve humanity. And I stand for that. And so this is how I think we can manage the whole Galamse menace. We don't have to fight with them. It's okay for you to call it a fight. But remember, we are brothers and sisters. If we do not stand up together, you are talking about Chinese doing this and Chinese doing that. They have been able to and create a strong niche for themselves. They go into other cultures, they study what the culture has to offer, and they're able to replicate it to their advantage. We are here still complaining. Instead of complaining, let us get our gari done. Let us resolve our land issues. Get to our farming. We need to hold the gates of what we have. We need to train our young people and our middle, whoever it is. Let us come together as a people and then create a better nation for ourselves. People are leaving the country. The economy is difficult. It is all because we have not decided to work together as a people. Let us not see this as a fight. Let us see this as resolution or remediation to what is bothering us. And I believe we will be able to create impact. For those of you who know Dr. Kumsin very well, she's always calm and very, very reserved. For the very first time ever since I got to know Dr. Kumsin, this is the very first time I can feel the pain and the hurt and the passion, yeah. the anger in her voice. <laughs> this is the very first time. And so it tells you that as we do kwakwasa, kwakwasa, like, you know, Martin Pebu will say, with, our, with, 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 with the Galamse fight, we're destroying our pharmacy, we're destroying our, uh, what do you call it, the supermarkets, we're destroying our economy. Listen, ever since we started producing Gary in this country by cultivating cassava, go to Aulaga, behind Aulaga, you see the women, they're still holding knives and holding the, the cassava. No more sensitive. No more sensitive by a, a cassava, no. We are showing you a video on Facebook right now on Love in the Morning. Love in the Morning. Go on Facebook right now. The Chinese have created a machine that peels the Gary. Washes it. It washes it. It, 